Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this video, I want to show you how you can take this photo shot from the top of the rock in New York and making it from this to this incredible sunset. It's my technique in three easy steps to replace sky. This is part of my new course on sky replacement. My new course on sky replacement is quite amazing. Uh, it's got 112 skies, 10 different projects. It's got class brushes. It's huge. Check out the link below to get the course. Get it while you can. We have a special release price. So this is just one of the 10 projects. Let's go to New York and let me show you this three easy step to replace skies in your photography. All right, so after a golden hour, now comes the sunset. This is a photo I shot on the top of the rock looking at the Empire State Building for a sunset, but there was hardly any sunset. So can Photoshop do something about it? I'm guessing so. What I advise you to do first is do some retouching because this is, remember, we're gonna be using blending modes and blending modes, anything which is white is gonna make, is gonna become transparent. So first of all, your photo needs to be a little bit on the overexposed side. And second, the sky needs to be white. So I'm gonna open up the shadows. I'm still gonna do some blacks here. I'm gonna boost the whites and I'm gonna boost the highlights to make this more white, okay? Uh, maybe just add a bit more blue, just a little bit. If you add blue here, it's gonna kill the, the, the whites there. Maybe add a bit of magenta a little bit. Okay, you can add a bit of texture and clarity, but just the sky is so boring. So I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to edit. Photoshop 2020, mesdames et messieurs. C'est parti mon kiki, here we go. So here I am in Photoshop. So remember, this is a sunset. So now we're gonna go to the sunset section, which is here. And I tried many sunset on this photo. I think because the sun was right behind the Empire State Building, I ended up uh, let's see here. Let's try a couple. It's I'll give you a, a fast way to try photos. You can click and drag a sky. And since you know that you're going to be using a blending mode, you just put it on top of the sky, press enter and go to multiply and look at it. And you're like, and, and you can see right away the potential. Um, it's actually pretty good. Actually, you know, this I've never tried. Let's do this one. So command T, I'm going to position this right on the horizon here right here, about here, press enter, command J, you have to remember this guys, command J, command T, right click, flip vertical, hold on the shift key, boom, 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 make it stick, press enter, select both, right click, merge layer, boom, multiply. It's the same formula almost every time. So on this one, it, it's gonna be hard. I'm telling you right now, it's, good. it's so extreme that I'm not sure it's gonna work, but let's let's make it work. So first thing first, I think it's just so much, I'm just gonna lower the opacity a little bit. Yeah, just a little tad. Second, I'm gonna do the take the lasso tool. Uh, one thing, oh, another trick you can do if you wanna be really precise, I'll show you. You click here on the original image, and you go here, instead of using the lasso tool, you click here to use the uh, quick selection tool or you press W and you click here on the sky to make a sort of a fast selection of the sky. So now the sky is selected, but that's not what we want. So I'm going to go here, select, and I'm going to go, I'm going to go to invert the selection, inverse. So now I only have the bottom because it was easier to select the sky. And now that I have this, make sure that you are on the sky layer, make it active. You have to be on the sky layer. If you're not, it's gonna to be too late. Okay, if you're not, you're gonna be in trouble. And then it's gonna not gonna work. You go to filter, blur, and we're gonna to go to Gaussian blur. And this one needs a pretty strong Gaussian blur. I think this is kinda of cool. Check it out, before, you see we can see all the clouds here, after. Basically all you get after is the color cast. So that's good, Command T, Command D, so now, it's okay, it's just very strong, but it's okay. It's okay. So now we're gonna take a mask, okay? Click here for the mask. B for brush. I still have black as my foreground color. I'm still at 20% opacity. And now, mesdames et messieurs, I can go here and take the effect out, but you know, layer by layer on the gradient. And I can look at it and I'm like, hmm, it is not bad, it is not bad, but let's see if we can do better. So. 
I mean, I wouldn't go through all these steps to test the sky. What I usually do is I'm, I take a sky, I drive and drop it there. I put it, you know, where it should be. Uh, you have to be fast because there's so many possibilities. And I put this into multiply and I look at it. I'm like, ah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. If you don't like it, boom, you, you press here on the uh, bin. Yes. And voila. So uh, I think the one I, I, I ended up using is this one. So I'm going to drag and drop this one here. I'm going to put it here because that's exactly where the sun was. And uh, let's see, I'm going to put this into multiply. Ooh, already it looks kind of cool. I think this one matches it much better. So Command J, Command T, right click, flip vertical, hold on the shift key. You align it, press enter. And what it, what's weird is when you're going to select both guys and click here, and you're going to merge them, it's going to go back to normal mode. Why? I have no idea. So I'm going to put this back into multiply and already I'm liking this a lot better. There's a few things that we need to tweak. First of all, of course, we need to do the technique of the sky. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to select the sky W for the quick select tool. You need to remember these shortcuts like W, which is a quick select tool is one of the most important shortcut. And then I'm going to go to select. I'm going to inverse the selection. I'm going to go here on that layer. Okay. Wait for it. So now the bottom is selected and I'm on the, make sure you're on the layer where the sky is. And I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. The last value is very strong. 142, maybe it's a bit too much. You know, I kind of like to have some of the cloud formation, but like not a line like this. So I'm going to go like this. Okay. Press okay. Command D to undo. Command D is one of these uh, shortcuts. Um, and I could lower the opacity. I, rec you know, I advise you not to do that, not to lower the opacity. It looks more real. But I advise you to uh, use a mask and press B for brush. So you got to remember B for brush, B for brush. Okay. Uh, black is your foreground color, 20%. Very important, 20%. And now I'm going to brush. And because it's 20% when you brush, you see, I don't like it's too dark here. Something, and now it looks more real. And if you like, let's say you brush here, like, oh, I took it out too much. You just press X, white is gonna become the foreground and you bring it back. You bring it back how you want it. And, and voila. Now the photo is crooked, it needs a double development, but first, there's something weird in that sky here. So, uh, like a bird or something. So what you can do is you can go here sorry go here take the uh, spot hitting brush tool and i'm just going to erase that here okay yeah command z you don't need to make such a big line just over there there was maybe some kind of bird in that original sky i didn't see that but that's okay that's okay so i'm going to go back into lightroom and now i'm going to do a second so i'm going to close this and i'm going to save it and that's going to bring it back into lightroom and we're going to do a double development in lightroom so let's go to lightroom so that was the before photo. I mean, that's the before photo. It's pretty crazy. And now here's the photo back in Lightroom. First thing first, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go in a crop tool. I'm going to use the angle and I'm going to click and drag on the horizon to make sure I'm very straight. And I was not. And then I'm going to go 16 by nine. 16 by nine is my favorite crop because it very looks like a movie. It's, it's like a movie, you know, and I, lo I love the sky. So something like this, press enter. Ooh, the Empire State Building. And then maybe, you know, open the shadows a little bit, bring down the highlights, do the black, do the white. You can fuzz around with the white and tint, but not too much because it's going to go weird very much. So I just play around and see what I like. Like, uh, 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 maybe just a little bit more yellow, but very little. Don't go like this. It's going to go crazy because it's not a roll file anymore. So you have to be very gentle with the, and let's see here, tint. Oh, yeah, maybe here a little on the side, maybe a little bit brighter something like this and um, add a bit more contrast. And I think I really like this. So this was the original photo and this is the final result that we got. Uh, the Empire State Building was a crazy, crazy cool sky. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. Click the link, get the course while you can. You will see it's going to blow away your photography. If you want to know more, I'll also put a link to a YouTube video where I give more details about this new course. It was four years in the making. Get it now.